Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a Trader Joe's Essential Haul. I have basically been waiting to pick up everything I need from Trader Joe's so that I could film this video for you. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna go to Trader Joe's, and when I get back, I'm gonna show you everything that we pick up there on a weekly basis pretty much weekly, sometimes bi-weekly, but we go through stuff pretty fast from there. So if you guys are interested, definitely stick around. Don't forget to click the like button, hit subscribe, and comment below with other videos that you guys wanna see. Also, the last time that I was at Trader Joe's, they still had out a bunch of their fall items and they didn't have out Christmas items yet. But if they do have those, I'll pick them up and add them into this video. If not, I'll do a separate video with just those items. So I'll see you guys when we get back from Trader Joe's. for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, oh, oh. So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars so here is all the stuff that I ended up picking up from Trader Joe's. I spent $107, and I do have one more thing that I'm going to show you that I already brought upstairs. But for now, let me show you what I picked up. And these are in no like specific order. So these are all staples that we pretty much get every single time we go. I always get a kombucha because, sad, I had to actually throw away my scoby because I didn't harvest it fast enough I lagged and it went bad so I picked up the strawberry lemonade which is my current favorite I also like the cayenne lemonade and then we always get bambino pepperoni pizzas there's four mini pizzas in each one of these Mason eats um, one of those every few nights for dinner butter I got this cheese which is like a blend of Parmesan and Asiago Fontino provolone a bunch of different cheeses and that is actually for dinner tonight but great for pastas and salads all sorts of things we are obsessed with this mexican style cheese absolute favorite 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 cheese my husband loves the chocolate croissants so i got two of those now you let these rise overnight and when you come downstairs in the morning they're all puffed up your house smells like a french bakery and then you bake them for like 22 minutes super easy and delicious Okay, now these few things I actually picked up for making the beginning parts of Thanksgiving. So I have this vegetable mix, the mirepoix, and that I'm going to use with another onion that I actually picked up. I actually picked up two onions. I forgot to put them over here, a red onion and a yellow onion. But I'm going to mix that with some of the other yellow onion, and I'm going to make broth for the stuffing. And then that brings me to the pecans. I have this pecans um, bag for my sourdough cornbread stuffing that I make for Thanksgiving. If you guys want to see that, then let me know below, and I will make it early for you so that you can see how that works. And I also picked up mushrooms. Sometimes I like to put mushrooms in it, but I'm definitely going to use these for a stir fry for my vegetarian self this week. I picked up sweet potato tortilla chips, movie theater popcorn. Mason goes through like a bag of this at a time. It's crazy. I picked up all of these vegetables are actually for a big salad that I make. And I can show you guys that too. I did record it, but then I lost the footage. So I have two things of green cabbage. I have one of these broccoli kale slaws, and this actually comes with the dressing and the top fixings for it, which is pumpkin seeds, dried blueberries, dried cherries, almonds, um, I'm sorry, not pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and then the creamy coleslaw dressing. And then the regular cruciferous crunch, which is kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, green cabbage, and red cabbage. So I mix all of these together with the dressing packet for all of these. And then I pre-bag them into pre-portioned bags or containers depending on what I have going on. And that way I have salads all week long. And the more that they sit in this creamy dressing, the better they taste. And if you're low carb, you know, it's 20 grams of carbs for this entire salad no i'm sorry for three servings of this salad but that's mostly because of the dressing so when you split it up over this it's way less it's like eight grams of carbs for each serving so if you guys want to see that i will also show you that let me know 
and then milk milk is a really good deal there it's only like three and a half bucks so I always get it there in between going to Costco Costco is my favorite place to get milk because you get two gallons for like five and a half bucks but in between because my son and my family goes through a lot of milk this works I also picked up my son's favorite bread, which is the cinnamon raisin bread. This one's nice because it's nice and thick, and he eats about two pieces of that in the morning for breakfast, sometimes with cereal, sometimes without, just depending. Okay, let's talk about this. I'm pretty sure I've showed this before, but this is sourdough bread, but it's sliced, and it is square so that you can actually fit it in the toaster mind blown i've been buying this for like a year and i'm obsessed with it for that one reason i don't eat it i'm gluten free which brings me to the gluten free everything bagels which i love and i try to pick up you know every couple months if i pick them up i'll tend to eat them all within one week and so i don't want to do that i don't pick them up very often but i needed a treat so i did pick them up today I also got myself a butternut squash so I can make Tiffany Beeston's butternut squash mac and cheese, which I use this cheese for. So totally obsessed. Don't mind the dishes. We will get to those later today. Um, but you guys have seen that in a video from me, and I'm sure you've seen it from her as well. I also picked up some collagen because I order mine from Amazon, but I don't have another order coming till next month. So I picked this up to get me through. And then I like to get my napkins from Trader Joe's. They're super thick and they're only $2 for this whole pack and they don't go very fast because they are super thick. You only need one napkin instead of like four napkins. And then I also like to get our toilet paper there because it's $4 for all of this and we actually have a very old house with an old septic system and that does not clog our toilet. So I love that. So that is all the food items that I got. I'm gonna show you two more things that I picked up that aren't food related, but I tend to buy quite a bit at Trader Joe's. Now, one of those things is actually a plant, and I do pick it up a lot because I kill plants, but I'm gonna show you that in a minute. The other thing I'm gonna show you is this face scrub, and I am pretty much obsessed with it. It's the Blueberry Asiai Facial Scrub, and it does have, I wanna say it has malic acid in it. Let me see, here's the ingredients. It's got, yeah, citric acid, malic acid, lactic acid. So it has quite a few acids in there, but it's a great scrub. It will burn your face if you're not used to using acids, but it will only burn your face for the first few times because once your skin gets used to it, it will help to give you that nice glow and relieve any flaky dryness that we tend to get during the winter months. So I like to use this with my Pond's cold cream. Once I use my Pond's cold cream, I will go over the top of it with this and let this sit for a few minutes. Obviously, I remove the Pond's cold cream first, and then I go back over it with this and let it sit for a few minutes, and then I just wash, wash it down. I was going to say wipe it down, but you can do that. I wash it off with some warm water and then apply my moisturizer. So try this. I love all the Trader Joe's beauty products. I really do, you guys. And last but not least, I got this beautiful mini rose bush. That's going to be the end of this video, you guys. Thank you so much for staying till the end. If you did stay all the way till the very end, please leave a comment below if you are a YouTuber yourself and link one of your favorite videos in the comments so that I can go check it out. And don't forget to check out the video that's linked above because YouTube says that it's best for you. I don't know why. They just do. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.